Hello everyone, hope you all are safe. I am Devi Krishna, here today to narrate a small incident involving a bunch of teachers, students, a robot and a spirit. Yes, a spirit. Two teachers are sitting and having a conversation in our school. They look tired. Let's see what they are talking about. I think our children have tried really well this time. Yeah, they all seem to be budding scientists. And maybe few of them are future Newtons and Einsteins. I wish our little geniuses could have a small talk with Mr. Newton or Mr. Einstein. Sure. You can wish. Everything's ready, teachers. You can just have a look while I stay here. Thank you. Hmm. It seems they're getting ready for some big event. Did you hear that? A thundering sound. I think up there in heaven, there is something brewing up too. I think, I think our teacher's wishes is coming true. Newton? Einstein? But we all know that Einstein left for his heavenly abode nearly 66 years back. Maybe, maybe his spirit has been traveling all over the universe, watching lives on all kinds of planets, practicing science. Wait, I can hear angels. I can hear angels talking. Okay, now the spirit of Einstein is overpowered by a strong desire to visit planet Earth. But not as a spirit, but in flesh and blood. Okay, okay. After much discussions and arguments with God and his angels, he finally managed to get permission to visit his home planet Earth, embodied in his skin. Oh look, here he is. Oh, but alas, there was no chariot arranged for him. Apples are supposed to fall on your head, Mr. Newton. Oh God, where did I land? It's a school. A C school. There must be so many laboratories. It's been so many years since I have tried and seen something new. Hey, this fellow doesn't look like a human being. Welcome, Mr. Albert Einstein. How do you know me? Have we met before? I am Roboda, 2021. I know your past, present and future. My future? Yes, as well as your secret habits. You haven't worn your socks, have you? Alright, what is going on here? It's a science fair. Technophilia. It's all about latest technologies. That's amazing. Can I take a round? Of course. I will come with you. Roboda took it upon himself to familiarize Einstein with the developments in modern day technologies. Let us embark on a journey with them and see what technology has to offer us. doing light from the mud soil moisture sensor what gets into your mind when you hear this word maybe it's an instrument to measure the amount of water or the mesh moisture in the soil yes it's right soil moisture sensor measures the amount of water present in the soil let me tell you how it works a small charge is placed on the sensor and electrical resistance through the sensor is measured as water is used by plants a soil moisture decreases 
water is drawn from the sensor and resistance increases. Conversely, as soil moisture increases, resistance decreases. Soil moisture sensors are used in agriculture, landscape irrigation and in research. Over to Arin for the description of materials used. The components used in this project are Arduino board, jumper wires, compactor and a sensor. Arduino board is an open source electronics platform based on easy to use hardware and software. Jumper wires are simple wires that have connector pins at each end. A compactor circuit compares two voltages and outputs either a 1 or a 0 to indicate which is larger. A sensor is a device that detects the change in the environment and responds to some output on the other system. Over to Dev and Yarni for the connection part. So, when we keep the sensor in dry soil, it detects no moisture in the soil. So, time to water. When the soil is wet, it detects the soil moisture to be perfect. Some are used as simple sensors for gardeners. As I told, Aryan has prepared a simple moisture sensor with no complex materials. Thus, soil moisture sensor system can be used to monitor soil moisture and the wheat crop cultivation practice using intelligent irrigation system. So, watermarks can operate in a drier range but with a lower resolution at the wet end of the soil water tension. What is this? Do plants grow in tubes? This is soilless culturing of plants. They are grown in water. Without soil? Want to try a few strawberries? Mmm, juicy, delicious. But how? We are going to explain all about hydroponics. The science of soilless gardening is called hydroponics. Hydroponics is the cultivation of plants without using soil. Hydroponic flowers, herbs and vegetables are planted in inert growing media and supplied with nutrient-rich solutions, oxygen and water. This system fosters rapid growth, stronger yields and superior quality. In this model, the water keeps flowing with the help of a motor. The necessary nutrients that are required for the plants can be added to the root system by flooding, misting or immersing. The roots of the plants are exposed directly to the water and nutrition. The energy the roots expend for acquiring food and water is redirected into the maturation of the plants. Sure, hydroponics is considered better because it uses less water. Plants grow faster in hydroponics versus soil because you can control the nutrients you give them. You can grow more in less space because hydroponic systems are stacked vertically. There is also one risk involved in hydroponics. Electricity and water are dangerous when combined, and hydroponics often uses these two resources in close proximity. Now, do you know why we have chosen strawberries chilies etc for hydroponics hydroponic growers love strawberries chilies etc because it grows so quickly naturally these plants develop leaves incredibly quickly but putting them in hydroponic systems is like supercharging them almost all vegetables grow significantly faster hydroponically than they do when planted out in the field Good morning everybody, today I am presenting before you some modern technology in kitchen gadgets. Kitchen is the heart of our homes. This is where meals are cooked and the family comes together. Hence companies and people focus on bringing innovative solutions to us to make our life easier. Come, let us look at three such amazing and cool gadgets that we can bring home. Instant Pot Smart Wi-Fi just throw in the ingredients and fire it up before you leave, so dinner is ready when you get home. The Tanex Food Cycler FC50 Composter. It will take scraps and turn them into compost useful to minimize wastage and nurture your plants. Wi-Fi Fridge Samsung Family Hub. You can browse web, 
watch TV, and even wear buns and sat without even opening the door. So, friends, aren't these the companions you want to get for your kitchen? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce air fryers, a healthier substitute for deep fried process. Air fryers is the route to making and enjoying fried foods without the adverse health effects of oil fried foods. Now, how do air fryers work? Air fryers work by circulating hot air around a food item to create some crispiness as in traditional fried foods. They accomplish this by removing high fat and high calorie oils from the cooking process. Now, what are the benefits of air fryers? They can promote weight loss. They are safer than deep fryers. They reduce the risk of toxic acrylamide formation, which is a main cause for cancer. Adverse effects. Air fryers is still not guaranteed to be a healthful diet as it is still a fried food. Now, I am going to demonstrate how to make potato fries using air fryers. First, open the air fryer and take the vessel out. After that, mix the potato pieces with chili powder, salt and brush it with oil. After that, spread it evenly and put it inside the air fryer. After that, close it and set the timer for 15 minutes. Finally, our product is crispy and tasty french fries with less calorie and less fat. Let's try a few fries. It's so hot and crispy. I loved it. Hi everyone, this is a vegetable chopper. I made it myself. First, you have to take a container like this. Then add the container slit. You have to fix DC motor and gear wheel and blades. And then the wires are connected for the process. I am going to show how it works. Wow, isn't it amazing? One, I am going to show you how the food will be served on the tabletops using the model trains. This is the engine which is operated by six wags of battery and lost in an hour with one coach. It can hold up to one kg weight. This is operated through a remote control. According to the table numbers, we can adjust where to start and stop through the remote control. In this model, I have added only one food serving coach. If needed, you can add one or more according to the battery capacity. This food serving trains can be used in restaurants for good ambience. Children will also enjoy these types of restaurants. Even I visited such restaurant in Indranagar, Bangalore. So how was it? Feeling hungry? So what did we learn today? From how food is grown to the ways it is distributed and packaged, sustainable food technology may facilitate progress towards a future that is more equitable, healthy and sustainable. By adopting innovative and sustainable agricultural practices like hydroponics, intelligent irrigation systems, etc. to promote soil health, minimize water use and to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases, thus creating fields that are more resilient to environmental changes and are farmer friendly. So that's all for today. Just wait for the next episode of Science Fair Technophilia. Meet you next week. Until then, goodbye, take care and stay safe.